and welcome to I Love to Tell a Story by the Molten Borough Historical Society. It's a video podcast that we do occasionally. And today we're at the old Molten Borough townhouse here next to the Lamprey House Museum. Uh, my name's Norman Atkinson, and I'll give, be giving you a quick tour of the building. Uh, the building was built around 1838 and was used right up through the, uh, probably the 1960s. Um, as we kind of walk around the room, we'll be giving you some information on items here. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the service learning program that was done back in 2002 with the mostly eighth graders from the Moulton Borough School District. Uh, they were doing modeling and they were able to do models of the townhouse. We have the schoolhouse next to it. We have the Grange Hall and we have the building which was known as the Country Fair. Uh, at the time it was known as Maurice's and now it's been torn down and turned into the new upcoming Cup and Crumb. Uh, the project has, hasn't been done for a while and we'd like to kind of like try to get the school back involved in what we're doing. Uh, we're going to try a sixth grade essay this year, if we can get that off the ground, to get that back going. Uh, the school district has, has been uh, quite involved in the historical society. One of the items here in the hall that I kind of enjoy is the flag from the 1976 bicentennial of Moulton Borough. The flag was designed by Debbie McIntyre here in town. And it's really a nice, nice flag. As we continue our tour, we're going to be going to the back of the building. And as we kind of walk around, we kind of notice that the building has quite high ceilings. And Bob Lamprey, in his book, I Love to Tell a Story, told about how when he was young and living at the Lamprey house next door, that they used to come over here with his best friend and they used to play basketball in here. They would change at the Lamprey house and come on over and play basketball end to end. Now I think it's, we figure it's quite hard to get a, a long shot with the uh, straps that go across and the hanging light, but I guess they did what they had to do. Now, one of the things that's kind of interesting about the building is these four little windows that we have along here. Uh, one, two, three, four. And they were used, there was a raised platform here in front of the windows, and each one of these windows was a voting booth where the residents of town would come in and vote. Uh, the booths have been long gone, but the windows remain. Also, we have a county here with a lot of old items from the town, photographs, canes, uh, even a grave marker. Uh, sometime drop by and, and we'll give you a tour of the building here. Up until probably even five or 10 years ago, we were still using the wood stove I believe it still could be easily usable. As we continue our tour, we're coming up upon a couple of old chairs that we have here. And the chairs came from the New Hampshire capital. Uh, I believe they were from the Senate, I believe. And they were given to the town when the uh, capital uh, building was redone. We still have meetings in the room. 
Uh, we can fit probably 30, 40, 50 people if we had to. Uh, we'll be having a few programs here this summer. As we continue walking around, we have our old kitchen. Now the kitchen was used for, our, oh, uh, meetings, bean suppers and whatever. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that such a small little tiny kitchen could you know, serve that purpose. But we have actual photographs of it being used in 1963 for the bicentennial, having a, a dinner and cookout here. And again, as we continue around, we have items from the Moultonboro Grange. Uh, the Grange building uh, is in need of repair, so we decided to move anything that was valuable out, and we set up a whole area of the Grange here in the townhouse. Uh, includes all of the uh, gavels and chairs, everything that was used for a Grange meeting. We hope that you can come by and check out the old Moulinboro townhouse sometime uh, or come to a meeting that we'll be having this summer. And this is Norman Agenson and I love to tell a story, a video podcast of the Moulinboro Historical Society. Thank you for watching.